Hi, George here, and today I'll be showing you how to add custom background music into Minecraft Bedrock. Right now I'm in version 120, I think it's 120.51 actually, but this works in other versions as well. Okay, let's switch over to the desktop and I'll show you how to do this. Okay, the first thing you'll need is a place to build your new resource pack. I just made a footer here on my C drive, I call it Bedrock Packs. Name it anything you want. Just have a place to work in. You also, of course, need to have your new music. I have one song right here called Jazz in Paris, kind of a fun song. And if you want a custom pack icon, you can go ahead and have that as well. It's just a 128 by 128 PNG file. Nothing special about that. So whatever you want at that size is fine, or you can use the default one as well. I'll show you where to get that in just a bit. Now, the first thing we have to do is to convert our song file here over into the right format. We need to have this as a .ogg or .og file format. And this also needs to be all lowercase. So we'll go ahead, we'll do that. And I like doing my song editing inside of Audacity. It's a great free program. So let me bring that up and we'll load up this into Audacity. Here's Audacity right here. If you want, you can just drag and drop your file into Audacity. We'll do that. It's the easy way to open it up. Just drag it over there, and there it is. Now, all you have to do in here is just to convert this over to the AUG format. And right now, I'm in version 3.4.2, in case you're wondering. This is the newest version as I'm recording this. Go up to File, come down to Export Audio, and in the file name, let's change this so it's all lowercase. So I'll just get rid of the uppercase letters. Make that lowercase j, make that a lowercase i, and a lowercase p, and you want to have underscores instead of spaces. There we go. So the name is now good, and we then need to place this into the right location, and I'm just gonna put this right inside the working folder there, the Bedrock Packs folder, and the format you want to have as Og Vorbis files right there. When it begins with OGG, everything else can stay exactly the same. Choose Export, and that's done. We should now see it over here, and there it is, there's our new file. Okay. We're done with Audacity, and we'll bother saving that. So if you have more than one file, you want to, of course, convert all of those files over. Now, don't try to just change the name here from MP3 to OGG. That does not work. It has to be converted to OGG. The next thing we need is the current vanilla resource pack. Let me show you where you can get that, and I'll put this link in the description as well. And it's right here. It's on GitHub. Now, we need to download the correct pack don't download anything that says pre-release or preview. Scroll down until you find the one that just says latest right there. That's the one that you want. And then download the source code here. It says source code zip. Click on that and then save that back into your working folder. Choose save. Now it's a pretty big file. It'll take a little bit of time to download this. So go ahead, wait till it's all downloaded. We can then open that up. All right, that's been downloaded. Here we go. I have this set up here at large icons, making it easy to see. Right click and I want to open this in a new window right there. And then Windows 11, so your right click may look a little bit different if you're in Windows 10. Same idea though. Let's go inside of this, we're inside the zip file right now. You want to go into the resource pack folder right here. Let's begin grabbing a few things out of this. First, we need this manifest.json file. Just drag that over here. If you don't have your own pack icon like I have here, then the one you want is right here. We don't see that because it's not showing inside of the zip. If I dragged it over here, it would show correctly, but I don't want to overwrite my custom one. So that's just that grass block thing. That's right there. Now let's go into the sounds folder and you want to have the sound definition file right here. Drag that in as well. Okay, that's all we need from that. We also need to make some folders in here. This came out of the sounds folder. We need to make the sounds folder and we need to make new folders for everything that goes inside of this for our music. So let's close this down, the zip file. We're done with that. There we go. Let's now make our new folders. That's new folder. First one, as we just saw, there is sounds. Go inside of that one. The next folder is music. Inside of music, there's another folder called game. And inside of game, there are four folders. We'll only be using one, but I'll go ahead and make all four in case you want to add more music in the future. So we'll start off here with new folder. First one is creative, we'll be using that folder. And another new folder, this one is end. And another one for menu. And the last one here for nether. So if you're adding any music for any of these four areas, they go inside of those folders. If you're just adding music for the regular game, it just goes right inside of here. Okay, let's go back here to our Bedrock Packs. So that's all good. We can now take this and actually put this right into that folder. So just drag it over here. And we'll just drag and drop all the way in like that. I want that in the Creative folder. Drag and drop. There it goes. So that's now in the right location. Let's go back here to our Bedrock Packs. Now we need to edit the sound definitions JSON file. 
I do all of my editing in Notepad++. It's a great code editor for Minecraft and it's free. Just do a search for Notepad++ and get it online. Let's open this up. And in here, we need to find the music. Let's do a search and find. Do a search for music. And here's our basic music section. And here's the folder path. So we have sounds, music, game. And the first one here is calm one. This is just a regular song inside of the background for any place inside of Minecraft except those special places that we've looked at. So we want to find the creative section. That's down just a little ways down here. We'll scroll down. Notice that some of the areas inside of Minecraft have their own song file sets. Here's the Basalt Deltas, for instance. It has its own songs that play inside the Basalt Delta. Here's creative. That's what we're looking for. And this has six songs that play inside of creative. We don't want to be using all six songs. We're going to be using just one song. So let me show you how you can do that. I can add a new song in if I wanted to down here and play all these plus the new one. Or you can change one of these to a different song. That's fine. So it plays five of those and then just that one. Or you can get rid of all of these and play just your new song. We'll be doing that. Now take a look at how this thing is set up. There is a curly bracket right here and a curly bracket right there and then a comma after that. The comma means that there's another one following it. So what we need to do is to remove all of those that we don't need. If you're adding in another one, let's say you're doing a creative seven, you would copy that from the bracket to the bracket in here, copy this whole bit, paste it right here, and then put a comma between those two. It's always a comma if there's something else following it. In our case, I'm just going to do delete a lot of these. Let's take out those first three, hit the delete key, back up a little bit, and then I'll take out those two, hit the delete key, and then backspace one space, so we don't have any extra lines in there. So we're using just this one, and remove that comma, because we don't have any additional songs following that song. Okay, now we need to keep this part of this, but we're using a different song up here. So for that, let's go back in here to our working folder. Let's go into the creative folder right here, and you want to have this one. Just click into the name, right click and copy the name. You don't need to copy the .ogg, just the name. Let's come back here to the folder, back to Notepad++, and then just change the name right there. Right click and paste. This is the exact same trick for anything in the game. You can replace the song just by changing the name like this. This tells Minecraft where to look for that particular file. Okay, we'll save this. That's now done. We have everything else the same. Let's close this down. Let's now take this edited sound definitions file and drag it inside of the sounds folder. It goes right there. Let me just change the views so you can see that better. There we go. It goes right here, right next to the music folder. Get back out to our working folder. We now need to edit the manifest.json. Again, I'm editing this in Notepad++. Bring this up. And there are a few things in here. We have a description up here, and we have a name right here, and a description right down here. These can all say the same thing. It doesn't matter. So I'll just change this name up here. I'll call that new creative background song, and I'll just select this. Right click, copy. Now I'll just paste it on top of these other two locations in here. And this is important so you can spot this inside of your list of resource packs. If you don't change this, you'll get confused as to which pack is which. So make sure you do change all these things. Now we have these UUID codes. There's one here and there's one down here. We need new codes for these two spots. Easy to do. There's a website just for this. I'll bring that up. That's right here, the online UUID generator. I'll hit refresh, get a brand new code. There we go. Click on copy. Go back to Notepad++ and I'll paste that right on top of this one. Right click paste. Let's go back there to the generator tool. Hit refresh again. Make sure it's new. Copy. Back to Notepad++. I'll paste that one right down here. And paste. What these are is basically license plates for this particular resource pack. Like every car has its own license plate. Every pack has to have its own UUID codes. Okay, we'll save that. That's now finished. Close that down. Close this down. And we're now all ready to build our pack. Let's grab these sounds. Hold the control key down. Get that manifest JSON and your pack icon right here. I'm in Windows 11, so that's right click, compress to zip file. Give it a new name. I'll call this one custom music. If you're in Windows 10, go up to the share tab and click on the zip icon. Now in here, Click into the name once, click into it a second time. You can then type in here and just backspace over that zip and rename this MC pack and then choose yes. Now if you don't see the zip on that, if you just see custom music or whatever you name it and you don't see that zip on there, go up here to view, come down to show and put a check mark right here where it says find them extensions. In Windows 10, 
that's up at the view tab at the top and then the show fundam extensions is a checkbox over on the right hand side the icon should change for you if everything is done correctly but make sure that you see that dot zip before changing it to dot mc pack or this won't work now at this point make sure that minecraft is not running and we'll then double click on this and this will then load this pack into minecraft Okay, double click. This will launch Minecraft. It will then grab that new resource pack and import that. And we'll make sure that comes in properly. There we go, import started, the top up there. Successfully imported. That's all set to go. Okay, now come down to where it says setting. And here, scroll down to global resources and my packs. You'll see your new pack right here. And here's where we have that renaming in there. So I know what this is. Click on that and click the activate button that should move it into the active section. Click up here, double check. There it is, we're all set. Okay, it's back at our settings. And then click play. And let's make sure that background song is working. Okay, the menu music just started, so that's fine. Let's go ahead and click on play. And let's make sure we're hearing our new song inside of the background. It's kind of a fun jazzy thing. You'll spot that real fast. It's my main world. We'll launch this. Now I'm in creative right now. And we change the creative music. So this should work out perfectly. We should hear the menu music go away. There it is. It's gone. And then in a little bit, we should hear the... And there we go. There's a new jazzy creative music. Okay, that's how you can change background music inside of Minecraft. Make sure you like the video and also subscribe so you don't miss any videos in the future. And I'll see you next time.